New tonight, can you imagine bathing, drinking, and living without running water? It is still a reality for families in our state. Yeah, right here, down in the Black Belt, some still have to drive to a roadside faucet to fill up empty jugs with water. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark talked to families about a problem going on for decades. And Michael, is there any relief in sight? Well, Jim Sherry, I want you to take a look at this family. For years, they've driven to a spigot to get water for their household. This was last summer, and it's still happening. We went to county leaders who say they're making progress, but it could still take some time before everyone has access to county water at their home. We are in Wilcox County, and we pay taxes, and we have been forgotten for years and years and years. And it's, it's not right. For as long as many folks in northwestern Wilcox County can remember. It runs from this house, that house, that house, and that house. Digging a well has been one of the only ways to access water for one of the poorest areas in the state. Nine, eight years, $7,000 and on hook for wheels now. Mm. So. That's a lot of money. Yes, Lord, that's a lot of money. Especially now you ain't got none. Minnie Jones is fortunate enough to be able to afford a well. Some rely on neighbors. People these days, they get tired of you come getting water from them. They'll tell you right quick, dig your own well. It's clear. It's clear today. And having a well or access to one doesn't make you immune to the struggles. Several of Deborah Purnell's family members rely on her well. This is totally, as you can see, ran by electricity. So once that goes out, then we're out of water until it comes back on. Other families are forced to fill up jugs at a roadside faucet. This was just last summer, and it's still a reality for some neighbors here. Can you imagine waking up in the morning having to walk a half a mile out to a, a faucet beside the road to be able to provide water for your child to take a bath or go to school? John Moten and Charles Lawson are two county commissioners who have been fighting for water since their election. I hope that by next summer we could have water in the area. I hope. For years, leaders were split on forming a water board crucial to bringing water to these families. As a county, we weren't able to borrow the money or get the funding from USDA to be able to do the projects needed to extend water throughout the county. So the Water Authority was our only option. Just this month, county commissioners say they moved $350,000 to the Water Board and applied for federal grants. It, it just hold on a little while longer. It, we, we're going to have it. But just how long is anyone's guess? Many of these families grew up without running water. My daughter over there, we got a trailer over there, and she need running water. And they question whether infrastructure will ever come. She is all working right now trying to get some money to have her well do it. Because they don't know when is the water going to run through here. To those people that, that don't think anything ever going to happen, we just said be patient just a little longer now. For now, residents are forced to wait and hope the latest promises don't run dry. It's a lifestyle. You need water these days. Don't care what you're doing. You need water. Now, since this is Governor Kay Ivey's home county, we wanted to ask her about the problem. She wouldn't go on camera, but she did release a statement saying, in part, I am keenly aware of the water needs in my home county, and I am committed to helping their efforts. The full statement is on our CBS 42 News app. For now, reporting live in the studio, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.